Good, mate. Looking good. <laughs> okay, I'm going to introduce you to... Who are we going to put in the hot seat? Will and Andrew. Will and Andrew. Come on through, Will and Andrew. There's a few of us here. There's about eight of us. Um, this is the first day of our project, Ben. So it, we've uh, had a couple of calls. We've had a call with Dan this morning and with Oliver Quinlan at Nesta. Um, so you're our third call, and we really appreciate you giving us, giving us a bit of time today. Hi guys. Yeah. Hi. I'm um, I'm in our six form uh, community area at the moment, where they all hang out at break times and when they've got free lessons. It's a bit loud at the moment because it's break time. They're just just going off to their lessons now. Should quieten down a bit then. What best supports your learning at the sixth form? Um, well, I think that I'll get some actual students to probably answer this for you in a minute, but to me I think probably that we've got very good teaching staff here and this building that we're in is dedicated just for sixth form only, so they get their own space where they can just hang out with people their own age um, and they've got areas to study, they've got massive computer suite upstairs with enough computers that they can all have their own computer up there um, and then down here we've got the wireless and they can all bring their own laptops in and stuff so I think the free use of technology supports their learning quite a lot. Okay, um, if you had a chance to rebuild your school from scratch, what would you add into it? Thank you. Just say it again. I'm just get my head next to the speaker. <laughs> if you had a chance to rebuild your school from scratch, what would you add into it? Okay. Um, yeah, it would definitely not be like it is. We'd have the same stuff probably in it, but the buildings would be a lot different. We're quite tight for space. A lot of our classrooms aren't very big enough for what we'd like to be a lot more flexible. So we'd like bigger, more open. <laughs> flexible learning spaces uh, and we'd go for a similar approach to you guys where every student would have their own device so they've got their own Chromebook to carry around with them all the time. What, is it, what doesn't work so well in your school? What hasn't or what has? What hasn't? Um, I think like I said before, I think space is an issue. Like we, we would like this building to be four times the size that it is, but we haven't got enough space to be able to build or enough money. So I think space would definitely be something that would be something we would want to change if we could. What are the key features of like a working environment? Let's take you say it again, sorry. What are the key features of a working environment? What are the teachers yeah. got from a working yeah, environment? What, what are the key features of your spe your six one seven earth then? Uh, okay. Um, I think that it's a standalone building away from the rest of the school. They still the students still do get to go back into the main school for a lot of their lessons, but we don't have science labs and stuff in the building. It's purely a um, they sort of conventional like psychology type lesson in here, so they do go into the rest of the school, but it's really nice for them to be able to um, get out and have a very relaxed sort of atmosphere, which we don't have in the rest of us. They're going to be studying in their free lessons, sometimes they just want to chill out. They've got their own canteen that you can't, can't really see at the moment because it's closed, but they've actually got their own kitchen in here where they can go and purchase their own food and stuff from, from this building. So they they can be very independent and it feels feels like a change from when they've gone from being in year 11 at school, changing to the sixth form. It's got a definite change in feeling for them in the school. What do you think we could learn from Google? Um, everything. <laughs> you, uh, I don't. I, I think it's what you what you do with it, more than what you can learn. You can obviously Google itself. You can learn 
an unlimited amount going in. It's got every piece of knowledge you can ever want from every research. But um, I think that the key thing for me with the use of like, Google Apps in our school is going to be collaboration and going to work with people um, within the school and around the world so they can work on projects with each other like anywhere regardless of geography. How many students do you have in your sick form? Sorry? How many students do you have in your sick form? Um, we have about 300. Yes, yeah, there's about 150 in each year group. Is there any, any students there we can talk to, Ben? I'll just go and have a look for you, right? Cheers, mate. If you could add one thing to your sick form, what would it be? Sorry? If you could add one thing to your sick form, what would it be? Um... Um... I actually can't think of anything. Um... I really don't know. <laughs> What's good about your sick form? Um... I think the common room is really good because it's like a really good space. We've got <laughs> we've got like sofas in like one half of it, and then like tables and chairs in the other half. So like year twelve and year thirteen sit in different halves of it. And then upstairs you've got like a massive big computer room, which is really good. So I think the facilities are really good. The people work in the common room. Yeah, they do. Cool. Come around with it. I'll give you a tour. Oh, thank you. Okay. <laughs> if you... You wait back there. Uh, oh, yeah! We got all way. All way. <laughs> <laughs> so, guys, what do you, what do you like about your sixth form centre? Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> When it's over, what sort what sort of food do they serve in the cafe? Sausage rolls, peanuts, cake, ice cream. Nice nice healthy stuff yeah. then. <laughs> no. Get through. Get through yeah, coke and lemonade. Tea. Is that different from the rest of the school? Chocolate bars. Less than like it. Yeah. <laughs> Did you assign it? Is that useful? A TV screen. <laughs> the, kitchen, the kitchen's not open at the moment because half the six of them have left now in year 13. So it's not really worth having it open for the amount of people that are still here. We would eat more. Yeah. <laughs> they would disagree there, Ben, by the sounds of it. Yeah, it's not really the same. This is just a free space to do whatever they want during free lessons. Um, What's on the um, screen? Like, they come in and be like, whack! You get yeah. free choice. Yeah. These are words from a new student that hasn't started yet. So. I, I have started. <laughs> started last week. I started last Monday. Um, how do you set it in? Do you think it's a nice place to start? Yeah. yeah. Um, what could we have done better when we started? Um, 
some of the teachers are actually haven't really started their lesson yet. For example, Miss Connor, she doesn't know what they're doing. Yeah, Miss Connor. Quality. 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 Have you got any, what are your like, ideas for how you want yours to be? So this is, our, this is our first day designing. Yeah, okay. So we haven't got m many ideas yet. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that's that's a weird. TV in the background. Yeah. So yeah, that's a that's a 70 inch LED display there. Um, we're we're in our Osprey Key campus, and um, right next to Osprey Key is where the sixth form centre is going to be. So you kind of look out and you'll be able to see that straight away. So, Ben, thank you so much for giving up your time today and thank you students for uh, speaking with us. It's really good to connect up and uh, I'll send you a link, Ben, of what we've been up to and uh, you can share it with people. Okay, great. Thanks, Ben. Thank you. Now go and, so now go and, sort, go and sort your hair out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's all right. Cheers.